हेलो गाइस इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट प्री रिक्विजिट फॉर सेलेनियम एंड व्हेन इवन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सम मैनो टेस्टिंग टॉपिक्स व्हिच आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर सेलेनियम अलोंग विद दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट कोर जावा टॉपिक्स व्हिच आर इंपॉर्टेंट एंड व्हिच आर नीडेड फॉर लर्निंग सेलेनियम ओके so apart from these topics today i'm going to discuss with you two major topics uh, which are extensively used while writing automation code those two techniques are code optimization and method chaining these two techniques are used by automation test engineer so that he can write optimized code and he can reduce the number of lines of code okay guys so let's start with code optimization according to the definition code optimization is the process of reducing number of statements but still getting same output by performing same action is called as code optimization okay let's see with an example i hope you guys are familiar with actives okay so let's start creating a new project go to file new java project i give name as sample okay my project name is sample so under sample project i will create a package and remember guys this is the naming convention for package like com com means domain like facebook.com gmail.com eventech.com so just reverse that domain name like com dot eventech dot project is sample as i'm giving you guys example that's why i'll take this package name as example okay guys finish under sample project under this package i am going to create a new class that is java class new java class i'll give name as example okay i am writing a code under main method so i have selected public static void main finish okay guys now remove this line place the cursor here control d okay सिंपल प्रॉब्लम इन एक्स इक्वल टू आर एस इन एक्स आई हैव डिक्लेर्ड अ वेरिएबल नाउ आई विल इनिशियलाइज दैट वेरिएबल नाउ आई वांट टू प्रिंट दैट वेरिएबल एक्स ओके गैस दिस इज सिंपल प्रोग्राम सो व्हेन एवर यू राइट अ प्रोग्राम यू हैव टू फॉलो दी स्टेप्स व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू मेंशन नाउ फर्स्ट वन इज After writing a code, select all like Control A. Then Control Shift F. You can see the difference there. Then Control Shift S to save the program. Okay, guys. Let's run this program. Okay. What output I am getting here? Hundred. Right. Now see how I will reduce this program. Okay, guys. Here x variable I have declared. Here I have initialized initialized that variable x. Here I am printing the variable x. That means I am having a common variable in all the lines of program. Right? In all these three statements, I am having x as a common variable. Right? Now see what I will do. I will remove this code line of code. I'll declare here only hundred. Okay, let's run. Can you see the output, guys? Am I getting the same output here? Right? No. What I will do? See here. I am having variable x. I am having variable s. That means I have a 
common variable in these two statements that's what i will do i will remove this statement here only i'll write directly 100 let's see is it am i getting the same output here how many lines i have reduced here two lines right this is nothing but code optimization is it so we can go for some more examples before that i will let you know what are the conditions for this code optimization okay Okay, guys. See the conditions are there must be a common variable between two statements as we have seen that x variable was common between the two statements then there must be an assignment operator for that common variable in the first statement let's see if you want to go for code optimization let's see here if you have these two statements in these two statements you have common variable x and that variable is having assignment operator equal to in first line so what are the two conditions conditions for code optimization one is you must have common variables and that variable should have assignment operator in first statement okay guys let's see one more example i'll create another class called as example 2 same i will select main method finish okay guys see place cursor here control d What I will do, I will write string. String S -S -T -T. A -V. Okay. Now, now I want to find out the length of the string. So what I will do? S dot I'll use length method of string class C. But I want to store this length, right? So what I will do? See, guys, I am writing the code from the right right hand side. Okay, hope you guys are getting. Just place cursor here. So create a local variable. Is nothing but integer, right? Because length will be stored in the form of integer. Okay. Now see. Now I want to print that length. Okay, guys. This is a program to find out the length of the string s okay as i told you beginning after completion of writing a program select all control a control shift f then control shift s so now run this program see what is the length of string s here four what output i got here the length of the string is four right now see how i will reduce this number of code lines of codes here is l is the variable here also l is the variable so code optimization condition one is agree is accepted right because I am having a common variable between these two statements then am I having assignment operator with this common variable yes so what I will do here length I will replace I will replace this length variable control X I will place here I will remove this 
You see? Understood? Wait. I'll show you one more time. Control Z. Okay, guys. See here. I have a common variable L between these two statements, and L is followed by assignment operator. So I can reduce this. I can go for code optimization. Hence, it agree those two conditions of code optimization. So I will remove L in place of L. I will place control V. Okay, I will remove this line. Okay, you see, same thing. Control all, control shift F, control shift S. Now run this program. Am I getting the same output, guys? The length of the string is four. Is it? Okay. Now see, what is S here? S is nothing but string, right? We have already declared and initialized, initialized that string s as a bin. So now what I will do? I will remove this s. I will remove this. So what is the string s equal to? I will place here. Okay, guys. Now, Control Alt, Control Shift F, Control Shift S. Now run the program. See, have I reduced the number of lines of code here? Yes. How many lines? Two lines. Is that correct? So, this is the way of writing code and using code optimization techniques. Okay, guys. So tell me, what is code optimization? The process of reducing number of statements but still getting same output by performing same action is called as code optimization. To optimize code, two conditions should be satisfied. There must be So guys, then what are the two condition for two conditions for code optimization? There must be a variable, common variable between the two statements, and there must be a assignment operator for that common variable in the first statement. Let's see one more example. Okay, what I will do? I'll create a, another class. Example four, but. I won't give example. I'll give as a class cat. I'll select main method finish. So cat class is created. C. Control D. Here, what I will do? I will declare a cat name string as a. Bean, okay. Now see. So to access instance variable, what we need to do? We need to create an object. Object of cat. 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 C equal to new cat. Okay. Now what we will do? I will take this variable, uh, reference variable C, and I'll try to access instant variable by calling name. So I will store it in a variable S. So tell me, obviously, if you are storing a cat name, what will be the variable? It is nothing but string, right? Now C dot name. Now what I want to do? I want to have a. I want to find the length of that name. That is S dot 
length method okay i want to store it in a variable called l so what will be the data type of l it's nothing but integer now i want to print that length okay guys now see control all control shift f control shift s now run this program see four the output is four now see how i will reduce what i will do instead of l variable i place this control x okay i'll remove this line of code okay now what i will do s is nothing but c dot name so i will remove s here and i'll place c dot name okay okay guys but c means what tell me here c means new Yes, I will remove these two lines of code. Okay, now see, now see the output. So, am I getting the same output here? Four. So, totally, how many lines of code I have reduced here? Three, right? So, this is nothing but. or optimization is it understood okay guys okay guys i think you have cleared about code optimization topic okay if you have any doubts you can mention in my comment box okay now now see in example 1 is it possible for us to do optimize the code is it possible us to optimize the code here yes cause here we are having common variable and that common variable is having assignment operator in first statement okay next here int b is equal to 100 system dot out dot printed line is c thing is that here we don't have a common variable hence code optimization cannot be done okay same thing here you might be having common variable but we cannot merge the variables okay so here also we cannot do code optimization okay next guys as i have already given this example a string a in intel a dot length and system dot out dot printl and l so you guys do for class snake and class car car okay it is a work for you guys so you try try to write the code and try to minimize or optimize the code okay guys next move to the main one of the important interview question that is explain system dot out dot printl okay guys okay see here system is a class okay if i explain you in this fashion you will not be you will not get the thing things so what i will do i'll give i'll write a code on eclipse then i'll make you to understand okay okay see here what i will do i will create a new class okay what i will do i'll give this class name as print stream tell me what print stream and i am not going to consider a main method here so i am just creating a class named as print stream okay finish okay guys under this print stream class i am going to create a method that is void print ln so i pass argument string in this method then i want to print string that is system dot okay guys same thing 
I want to create one more method control C control V okay here I want to pass argument integer int i okay and I want to print integer okay guys tell me what I have done here I have created a class named as the print string under that class I have created two methods and can you observe these two methods here the method which is having same name but different in data types here it's nothing but method overloading right okay if in an interview they ask you what is method overloading then you can say the definition and you can give this example also okay guys let's move further I want to I will create one more class here I will give class name as system one yeah I wanted to give class name a system here but thing is it system class system object is already present in java.lang package so that object is already present so I cannot create that object again if I try to create then I'll get an exception so that's why I'm giving name as system one and I'm writing a code uh, I'm writing the program within the main method here okay system one control here what I will do see int i equal to 100 what I have done here tell me here I have declared a variable i and I have initialized which is the data type of integer right see same thing same thing for primitive data type I am writing print stream I give variable name as out equal to new print stream tell me guys what yes let's see just like assume compare these two lines of code int is nothing but print stream i is nothing but out here i have already initialized that i is equal to 100 but here i am initialized print stream class by creating new keyword okay easy so don't be confused here okay now what I will do, I'll make it as a static because we need not to create an object here. Okay, now see. Now, what I will do, I will call the class name with the data dot operator. I will take variable system one dot out. Okay, I want to store this value into one variable called ps and obviously guys this ps variable is of which data type is nothing but print stream data type see when you click create a local variable ps then obviously we'll get print stream data type okay guys now what i will do i will take this variable then I'll call dot operator. Then I'll try to access println method here. Right? println integer. What I will write? Integer 500. Okay. Same thing ps dot println. This time I'll take string method. So println method, which is here string is passed as an argument. Here I will write a win deck okay guys easy okay now let's run this program yeah, am i getting the output guys here 500 evin tech yes okay easy so where these methods are present in print stream class 
I'm just calling those methods by using variable called ps by using dot operator. Easy. Okay. Now see how I will reduce the code here. So, what is the value of ps here? Can you observe from here? Right. Hence. Observe 9 and 10 line of code. Okay, here yeah. PS is there, PS is there. These two statements are having same variable here. Yes, okay. And this variable is having assignment operator. Yes, so what I will do, I can go for code optimization. So what I will do, I will remove this PS. Okay, instead of PS, I will write system on dot out. Here what I will do system one dot out okay then now I will remove this oh okay guys now see now run this program am I getting the same output here guys easy easy so this is nothing but system dot out dot intel and yeah system object is already existed if i try to create a new object of the same class system then i will get an exception that's why i have taken system one class okay guys so this is nothing but system dot out dot intel and so if in an interview they ask you explain system dot out dot print and then you should give an answer okay here system is a class out is a static reference variable of type print stream which is present inside the system class and it is a public static reference variable Println it is a non-static overloaded method present inside print stream class. I hope you guys got this easy. Okay, so next, can we move for method chaining here? So, is there any doubts regarding code optimization? You can drop it on a comment box. Okay, guys. Now we go for method chaining. So, what do you mean by method chaining? A process of calling multiple method one after the other in the same statement is called method chaining. That means in a single statement, if you call multiple method one after other then it is nothing but method chaining okay let's see with an example okay now what i will do i will create a new class okay what name you want me to give mm, i'll give a b c okay i am creating a class class name is a b c I will consider main method here. Let's finish. Okay. Control D. Here what I will do. I will create a method here. That is test A B C. Okay. Test A B C method. static string test a b c method okay. i'll let you know why i'm taking the why i'm making it static okay as i'm considering variable means i have to mention a return type here so return what return type should be same as the data type so i am going to return a name it's nothing but a win okay guys what i have done 
I have created a class. Under that class, I am creating a method which is returning a string and I am making it as a static method. Okay? Now, now in this main method, what I will do? I will call a class name by using dot operator. I will call the method. Method is nothing but test A, B, C. Okay guys. And I will store. See, as it is a returning string value, obviously the data type of S is nothing but what? String, right? Easy. So create a local variable string. Easy. Now what I will do? Yeah, same thing. I wanted to find out the length. So what I will do? S dot length method. Okay. S dot length method. Sorry. Oh, S dot length method. And I want to store this length in a variable L. And obviously it is a type of which data? is I want to print okay. I want to print the length of that method okay now see control shift F control shift S now run this program getting the four answer yes output is four right now see how I am going to reduce optimize this code okay L is here so same thing I'll copy this guys any difficulty any confusion now also you can run this getting the same answer here is it okay guys now now what I will do in the place of s what I have to do I have to copy this thing control x null plus here control v okay now see okay now we'll run this program am i getting the same answer guys here but now can you see the output print uh, print statement here see abc what is this abc is an object right our class right object abc is an object right after that what is this test abc is it a method which is written this string value right test abc then length is what when it is returning a string value, length method is present under string object only, right? Is there any connection between all these things or not? So, in the above example, or in this example, what we can see, length method present under this, length method is present under string object, agree? And which returns, length is present a string object string object where it is it is returned by this method right getting okay so that's it the process of calling multiple method one after the other in the same statement is called as method chaining so this statement is nothing but method chaining it is an example for method chaining okay guys understood easy See here.
in this method chaining topic the starting method that is test abc this is a method one right wait i will do one thing i will make it for the com comparison okay Let's see here want to compare this with the our line see here this this 14th line and 12th line just compare between these two statements okay in these two all the starting method is nothing but m1 nothing but in this example test abc it can be a static see already we have declared as static or it can be non static also but the remaining after this m1 remaining methods like m1 m2 m3 so on means i what i wanted to tell you is in method chaining all starting method like m1 here test abc can be static or non static also whereas the remaining methods like length in this example m2 m3 m4 so on all these methods can be non static okay they cannot be static getting okay so in method chaining all starting method can be static or non static anything but the remaining methods are non static okay and generally return type of all the methods present in method chaining will be other than while except last method see last method is what while right so generally return type of all the methods present in method chaining will be other than while see here it is a string right other than word except last method this last method see the other method is a return type is string length is already present in string object length method so next and last method the last method this one in this example last method is length method okay last method can have any one of the return type like it may be wide it may be primitive it may be non primitive okay in this it is a non primitive or primitive or wide okay last method can have any of the any one of the return type okay guys this is nothing but method chaining okay here i have already given example c okay method 2 is present in object which is written by method 1 get it because in test a method it is returning a string object and that length method is present in string object okay so method 2 present is present in object which is written type by method 1 is it Understood? Yeah. As I have seen, I have given explanation for these notes. Okay. So, guys. So these two are the most and major techniques for writing a Selenium code. So, as okay, it's a beginning. As you go on writing a Selenium code, then you will use these two techniques extensively. Okay. So it's just a basic for this Selenium, and actual then. real game of selenium begins from now onwards okay guys in next class i will teach you what is selenium and how to download selenium files and how to write a code in selenium automation too hope you guys are enjoying hope you guys are understand something new here please if you have any doubts 
or if you want to give some feedback or any suggestion please comment me on on the page uh, in comment box okay guys i'll be waiting for your comments also stay tuned uh, we'll be back uh, with the selenium topic so actually then real game of selenium begins now thank you